This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos when I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. They meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the economy is in trouble. They don't want us to know that. They don't want us to know they're losing money hands over fists. And of course, they are very selective in the data that they released us. I believe it's manipulated. I believe it's controlled. But what they can hide is the fact that Credit Suisse lost $4.1 billion in quarter two of 2023. And what a lot of people might not know, Credit Suisse and now UBS is holding a lot of credit default swaps, a lot of what I believe to be AMC short positions that are still on their books that they inherited from Orkagos. And the situation is only going to get worse. If they're down $4.1 million in quarter two, the, the situation is probably going to be a lot worse in quarter three, even though technically they quasi don't exist anymore. These are technically, in my opinion, UBS losses. But, you I mean, technicalities don't really matter, I guess. The bottom line is this. The economy is in trouble. It's doing a lot worse than they're letting, us, than they're, than they're letting on. And a lot of these companies, these hedges, these market makers that are shorting AMC, they are still in trouble. All these market makers shorting AMC have their liquidity drying up because every time Credit Suisse, UBS, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citicorp, uh, JP Morgan Chase, whenever they lose money, that's less money available to loan to these hedges so they could continue shorting AMC. So if the banks keep losing money, the liquidity for this for these bad actors keeps going down. And when it's over, when there's no more liquidity, in my opinion, they'll be forced to close their AMC shorts and AMC should go to the moon. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm just telling you that based on everything I'm seeing, the shorts haven't covered, and until they do, there's a potential for AMC to mow ass. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Credit Suisse losing $4.1 billion in quarter two of 2023 is very bad for the banking industry and very bad for short sellers? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.